What is up, my crazy Vulcanian friends? Whatever you can call me, VM. Welcome back to Jurassic World Alive. It's crazy, right? We're actually back in Jurassic World Alive after oof four or five months, give or take. I'm pretty sure the reason that it is I'm I'm dead. I'm temper. I'm certain um, is because I basically didn't want to do anything to like got a few more leg ups, if you will. So I've been able to get the unique, which was the uh, Indoraptor. And today's video, as you can tell by the thumbnail title and description, we also now are about to get Theralidosaur, thanks to some lovely people in the Beaver and Pals Alliance, which is ah, it's quite nice, really. So we're going to go ahead and go for the supply drop, because for some reason I'm not on 140 um, darts. Anything decent nearby? Anu. Oh, Parasaur. How much have I got of you? Only seven. We're going to go dart a Parasaur quickly. Um, and then we'll jump into it. But guys, I know it's been a while since we've done Jurassic World Alive. There will be more Jurassic World Alive coming in the future, including stuff like doing the strike events. Um, I won't actually be filming myself out and about just yet. I haven't got a decent enough camera for that. But we're going to do um, some strike events using the um, record footage um, option on the iPhone. I know that was awful. But for some reason, whenever I'm talking, it's far more difficult to die. <laughs> Need to get used to that again. Um, damn it, just... Too shy of a, um, two attempts at the Paramurloc, but we've got a Paramurloc. Where are we? Level 20 already. We're just waiting on it into Jangasaurus. Um, but yeah, so we're going to just record them on the iPhone um, and then we'll just talk over them like this, basically, but without this sort of uh, footage, if you will, of me webcam. I'm hoping webcam has worked this time. Uh, in the last couple of videos, it, <laughs> it hasn't or it's desynced. I've turned off the auto adjust light, so my forehead is going to be gleamingly shiny till I get my soft light set up. Also still using my annual mic, although I don't think you can see it. Where is it? Oh, it is back there. Um, it, can you just see? No, wrong, wrong hand. Right. No, wrong up. Just that little black bar there, yep. Yeah. That is the um, boom uh, boom stand for the uh, yeah, yeah, Yeti, Blue Yeti, um, which gives me a much crisper vote thing. I've got a pop filter for it as well, as well as a um, wind guard, but I've not, I've not set it up because <laughs> I'm a dingus and I keep meaning to and I keep thinking, oh, it's going to take up too much space, but forgetting I can put it away. Anyway, let's, let's stop dithering because we're not getting onto the point that I want it to be. We're going to go on to the uh, Alliance and thank everyone who took part in donating. So Vineyard, um, Wade, and Megalodontosaurus, Murph as well. These guys are usually always the top um, performers in this alliance. It's awesome. They were cool enough to um, donate it to me. I've recently been saying in the alliance, oh, you know, people shouldn't keep requesting Tarbo or keep requesting Dereko. I'm not going to stand by it fully because I get why people are doing it. I'm now rationalizing it because the sole reason was actually no they've got a good point people are going to donate it if they got it and not everyone's requesting stuff and if everyone requested stuff that we needed to complete the alliance events then we'd get it and so on and so forth but these guys are awesome they've all donated um some tarbo to me which means i will have enough <sighs> because the other day i thought i was going to get it and i didn't because you're going to see what we ended i ended on 245 <laughs> grade a horse okay not fun but no um so it's cool if guys, uh, everyone's going to um, request it. it. Just me, we need an alliance with people who are more active to dart because darting's far more effective anyway. And well, the alliance rewards have been the same for the past three centuries, so eh, you know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and request. Come on, get something high. Just my luck, to be honest. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm probably one of the most unlucky people in this damn game. <laughs> oh, the other day. Oh, beautiful Theralidosaur. It's awesome to have you, buddy. Wish I got a thumbnail with all the green flying past you, but that's what editing's for. Um, oh, beautiful. Um, I've saved up um, some bucks, and I managed to because they brought out some um, the option to buy some more of these. I bought um, 25 attack um, just to sort of re-encumber my, um, my reserves of them. I'm going to go ahead and equip you. And then we're going to go ahead and modify this guy because I haven't got a no near enough Tarbo to be able to get him up. I haven't got enough Aloe either. So we'll have to work on that um, off camera. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and just use all of my um, stat boosts that I'm able to on all of the stats. Because this guy is a weapon and is lethal. So already we're up to 1600. It's not amazing, don't get me wrong, but once we start levelling him up, I mean, we're at 1691 now. Levelling up takes us up to 1775. 
that's insane. This is the one that everyone goes for, and I completely agree with the reasoning behind it, getting speed up. Unfortunately, we're only at 127 speed. However, this is going to outspeed many default um, dinos without stat boost. It's not going to be able to outspeed the, um, the raptors, which is a problem in its own right. But a couple of days of the um, battle incubators and the next um, speed um, week, whichever week that is. I think it's not the next week, but the week after, because we've just had one. I'm pretty sure could be wrong. Um, we're going to be gleaming. But yeah. Nothing else really I want to dart right now. A Fire Godon, you only make Ankyla Godon, and it kind of sucks, so no. <laughs> also, I've given up on trying to show you um, the Dunkleosteus tattoo because, well, it's a nightmare. You can see Helicopterion quite nicely. You can kind of see the Elasmosaurus, and Mosasaurus is all the way up top. But this guy is in the most... Or you can just see the dinsiest bit of him. Look, look, look. Come on. Ow! My arm can't bend that way. You really can't make out much detail. Helicoptering, you can. You can see the buzzsaw just there. But, yeah. Um, so, check it out on Instagram or Twitter. I posted it on their Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's easy to find. You just scroll down. I don't post too often on Instagram. I do every now and then, but it's mainly tattoo pictures. So, anyone who wants to see my collection of prehistoric dead things. Just dead things. <laughs> prehistoric is completely undated by saying prehistoric. Um, yeah, prehistoric dead things. That works. Anyway. Let's go ahead and, well, we'll give this a crack. Now that we have got Theralidosaur, I probably should have started out by using him in one of the incubator battles. Do we have any of those nearby? I've clicked cancel. Here's the true tip. No, nope, no, nope, I got put in a battle. And we might not get a chance to use him here, so, eh, you know. Be nice if I got... Yes. <laughs> So Stegodeus going in first, I have boosted this guy a little bit, so he's got a little bit more extra health and a little bit more extra attack. I don't think I boosted his speed. Oh, I have not boosted him at all. Oh, it was a Lankylosaurus I boosted. Ignore me. So we're going to throw in this guy first. The sole reason being is he's here to um, tank, basically. Um, this guy has actually done a bit of a dingus move. Um, if you're going to get something that has any form of uh, stat drain, you've got an Indoraptor. This much I can confirm. Do not, for the love of all things holy, start with a cleansing impact. Either start A, by cloaking, or B, just going for an armor piercing strike. Because you're going to need that now. Because look, I, I've got a chance to really mess him up. I mean, he's going to go cloak now, and then he's going to go for the double rampage. He's going to go for the rampage, but that could have ended super poorly for him. <laughs> so, eh. I think what we're going to do is he's going to have his um, modern flip back, cleansing impact back, but he's not going to go for it just yet. So, we have a superior strike again. That basically means anything we throw in now will get to go first. I'm pretty sure he can kill. Yeah, he can kill easily. So his boot, his health is uh, down. The only downside is is that he is still cloaked, but he's just used his rampage, so he can do a decent chunk of damage. Oh, I've got rationalized pro smart. Yeah, I'm going to go for our little uh, pro therathomimus buddy here, and we're going to go for cloak. The reason I'm going for cloak here is he's probably going to go for a um, cleansing impact now, and I hope he does, so that we can start putting down distraction. This guy is unbelievably useful, pro therathomimus, but with my luck lately, for some reason, all of my dodges just haven't been working, apart from then. Oh no, a doggo is barrackle. Oh, poor doggo. So we're going to go for... The obvious thing here, which is to go for um, Distracting Rampage, because he won't have Cloak till next turn, so just get rid of that guy, because he's a pain. Indoraptor is um, an easy or a hard one, depending on who you're playing against. Some people can use Indoraptor masterfully, and I hope to be like them someday, but I am truly hoping here he's going to go for Cloak off the bat. Yes, he is, which means he's wasted a turn, so I'm just going to go for an Elifying Strike. If you stick an Indominus Rex against something like this, and it's your first dino, that's fine. You can fodder him off. A way I've looked at it anyway. But if you throw him in and then stick him on cloak, well, what's the point? I'm I'm thinking he might drake a Ceratops here. Listen to my reasoning, because I've been a big pet. No! He, he used the, um, oh, using a counter meta. I can live with that. Because we're going to put a decent chunk of damage down there. We're not going to kill him, and he's going to kill us, admittedly. But, I should have, I really should have cloaked, um, but then we'd have been risking it. Doesn't matter, because I'm just going to go in here with an impact. He is going to, um, we're going to switch out to Draco. Bad move to use Draco right now. I get that, don't worry. 
but the reason I'm doing that is because he's more than likely going to go for an instant distraction, which means my Theranodosaurus is going to take unnecessary damage. If, however, I'm really unlucky and he's got an Allodonimus here, game's over. I, he doesn't, but he has got a Pyritator. Can I kill him with two? No, I can't. If I went for a speed up, and then... Oh, I think we can do this. Oh, I think we can do this. <laughs> I think I'm about to cheese it. He hasn't got any instant... Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, I should have stunned. Oh, that was such a dumb move from me. That's that's on me, guys. That's on me. Uh, I'm not going to jump around the fact that we've uh, lost that because of my stupidity. I should have checked the speed stats. Um, that's on me. 140. I assumed he'd be at its base, not increased. Oh. That's on me. Had I played that smart and seen that, that's when I would have gone, okay, heal, because he's going to go for ready to crush, and then we could have switched out for our Thrallander Sword to do some damage. But, hey, at the end of the day, I'm not going to claim I'm an expert on this game. I'm Certain parts I like to think I'm pretty good at, but expert, maybe not. Right, this is not a great... It's not the worst. Uh, do we want to start with Indoraptor? Chances are no. What am I thinking he's going to play? Probably... Oh, not what I thought. <laughs> Fine by me. We're going to go for a um, crispy Thagomizer. Get down his speed. He is going to kill me next turn regardless. But it's all good because I'm not overly fussed about losing Stegodeus. Uh, this guy is fodder for me, and there's probably tactics better than that, and I appreciate that entirely. Oh, could we survive? This. Duly noted. Duly noted indeed. Is he gonna cheese it? Do we reckon? No, good, because it'd be a waste of damage. Uh, people that do that, it, I used to do it, I can't say much. But it just wastes damage. Oof, that's not particularly grand. That is not grand at all, because he's pretty much comboing all of my creatures right now. Yeah, that's not great. Um, he's got a definite strike, which removes Cloak. He has got... Oh, Megalosuchus is actually really freaking useful. Potentially more so than a Stegodeus if we buff up his health. No, no armor. Maybe not. Um, uh, although, to be fair, everything as I'm starting to go up in rank has got armor piercing now so yeah there is literally no need for me to go for um cloak because i'm hoping he's gonna think i'm going for cloak and he's gonna go for a strike Oof, that counter no he went for an impact oh this could be interesting he might switch out to a draco now which once again not the worst thing in the world <sighs> could kill him or I could cloak or i could switch out mm. Oof. How much damage do you do? You don't do no near enough to kill a Draco in one hit, so... Cloak. That That's weird. <laughs> Evasive stance, sorry. Um, I'm guessing I, I did it too late, so it just showed me what I wanted to see, but clearly not. Well then, obviously going to go for <laughs> Evasive stance now. Good lord. Survive. So, I mean, strike. Oh, if he crits though, because Thraladosaurus got an insane 40% crit chance. Um, he's also got enough speed to outspeed me. This isn't good. Oh no. Oh, I was hoping to get a Shattering Rampage in there. Right, so Alankylosaurus here is useless. We have to use this guy. Um, I'm thinking he's probably going to go for an instant charge. Regardless, whatever he's going to go for, we're going to go for an instant distraction. Probably should have saved that for the Rampage, but hey. I also potentially should have cloaked. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm fairly confident he is going to... Um, Switch into a Dracoceratops. It doesn't. Like, Dracoceratops is now the main meta that I'm always anticipating. <laughs> and there we go. There's my chance. That, that's my luck with Cloak. Right. That one was a nail biter at the end. Um, I don't know what's going on. I, I was like at 3,800. Now I've dropped down to 3,500. This is. This is something. <laughs> right. Focusing time. Look. I'm putting my thinking cap on, you know? Put it on a weird way, it'd probably fall off my head by now, but yeah, it's on there. Right here, on my hair that I had to put product in because, well, it was a mess. <laughs> what little I've got left, of course. Alright, should we start with Thraladosaur? Hell to the no. We're going to start off with Indominus Rex. This is not a bad team. I would have preferred a switch out from um, 
Stegadeus to a crispy Dracoceratops though. Otherwise, this is a pretty good team. Um, people are leading constantly with their bleeders. I wouldn't. I don't have any bleeders on my team yet, but I wouldn't lead with my bleeder. The sole reason being is a lot of people, I, I see a lot of people use um, either cleaners, ones that you can use cleanse, or um, just cloaked. He might have a Lankylosaurus here. That would be interesting. Not many people do use it still. I, I do still like to use it because of the Indominus Rex or... Um, that's pretty much it, actually. It's only a really good combo for the Indominus Rex. But when someone has a really powerful Indominus Rex, you are in trouble sometimes. <laughs> it's immune. The only thing that can be good is Proserathomimus. Proserathomimus. Good lord. Um, who has got the Nullifying Strike or uh, Monast uh, Monastegatops with its uh, Nullifying Impact. But it just sort of gets a bit blurry. Oof! Would have preferred to use the Cloak on this guy. It's fine, though. His speed is 120. If my memory serves me right, we've got a faster guy. I just need to um, use someone to take the um, instant charge. Because, although to be fair, he's going to do a small bit of damage, but I'm concerned if he instant charges me. There we go, perfect. Um, he is more than likely going to um, switch out, um, and I won't want that. <laughs> Will we kill it? I think we might be able to kill him in um, with an impact. I don't know, actually. We can. We can kill him with an impact. Absolutely amazing. There's a reason I wanted Thordor, or Thor, and this is the exact freaking reason. His attack is insane, and if we can boost him even more, beautiful. Right, so we're gonna go for a nice little uh, rampage and kill him because I don't know why he picked Trachodistus to come in then because that was a that was a sweep. <laughs> well, it wasn't sweep, but it was a pretty easy game. Um, I. Honestly don't get how the leaderboard works sometimes. I all get games where I'll win like four in a row, then I'll lose four in a row, but I'll be on worse points than when I started, and it's like, well, that's not fair. <laughs> but, hey, potato, potato. Alright, I think I'm going to try and get the battle incubator. Webcam's probably pooped out by now, so you can't see me doing all these gang signs and whatnot, but, hey. Right, come on. Throwing Indominus Rex out first, a bit risque, especially if he has a bleeder, which he doesn't. He has something that's could be a pain. Yeah, could be. Not going to be, because uh, we're in a cloak. Um, I'm hoping he's going to go for an impact, which he is. So he's more than likely going to go for a um, shield now and expect me to go for the um, what do my flip cleansing impact? What does Bello do? Yeah, so we're going to go for um, Defense Shouting Ramp. Oh! Fair enough. Wasn't expecting that. Right side. I can now get rid of the um, thing with a Cleansing Impact. And then potentially kill him off with just a normal attack. Because he's probably going to want to go for Bellow after that. Oof. That would do it. Long Protection finally coming in there. So Cleansing Impact goes in. He still couldn't just yet kill me with a... Um, Dracoceratops. I said that, and then it got to the point where he could, if he's got one. But we're no longer um, sort of slowed down. Kill him. There we go. So, Indoraptor, really good for getting rid of tanks. Incredibly good. Um, Stegadeus, um, not no Pat Titan, whoever uses that on the team. Actually, it could. No, it doesn't. Um, I've forgotten its name already. <laughs> that big thing that we just fought. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Right, he's going to go for an instant charge next turn. So if he doesn't kill me here... Oh, no boost. Interesting. I'm just going to scratch my bit of that thought. Here we go. He's going to go for an instant charge here. Potentially kill me because my luck with Cloak is awful. <sighs> RNG Jesus hates me. <laughs> it really does. And I hate him. Bright side. He's probably going to go for a rampage now. Uh, what's happening? Thank you. I thought it was going to cheese me then. I would not have been happy. I should have used Cloak, but we can't survive a Rampage. So it's best to do that and then Cloak, even though he might switch out to a Dracoceratops. So we're just going to go for a double damage here. Um, and then potentially Nullifying Strike. He may not have... Um, oof. That's a big yike cheeks. Cheeks, Chief. Um, he should not waste a Dracoceratops here because he'll be putting that Dracoceratops in danger. But he does have an instant charge. I should have remembered that and I should have Cloaked. A duly noted, but we have got an Alankylosaurus, 
this guy can just um, either finish him off, yeah, in one hit, and give us a nice little um, block, or it will put a decent amount of damage, or a decent starting damage on something else. In which case, I probably should have gone for a superiority strike and kept my speed up. If he throws an immune in, it wouldn't have made a difference. It doesn't. And he's another flying strike, but he... Yeah, he swapped in and nullified, which is fine, because my defense comes up afterwards. This is not the worst situation to be found in. Oh, it kind of is. <laughs> Stegodeus may have to be swapped to very shortly, um, because I've just realized the implications of this guy. He went for a instant distraction. He's probably going to go for his um, distracting rampage now, apparently. Oh, another fucking strike, all right. Well, I may have put superior on the strike on for no reason. Can he kill me in t a double damage? No, he can't. He can, however, start using his freaking cloak now. And rather than run the risk of, um... Oh. I should have gone for a superiority strike. I'm an idiot. Because he can kill me now. Wait, can he? No, he can't. Armor. He might not know that, though. Because he's going to go for another flying strike. No, he's not. He's going to go for a distracting rampage. Should have swapped. Should have swapped. Why am I so done sometimes? <laughs> oh, he's gone for an evasive stance. All right, well, that's fine. Um, distracting Rampage is going to be a risk, yes, but we're going to switch to Stegodeus. Who is going to... Um, yeah, we, he crit as well, so it's probably freaking good that we did that. Oh, why am I not using Zipriari Strike? It's fine, because he's not using instant distraction, so we're not losing 90% of our attack, and I have to beat his cloak, which I did. We still have the Thordor to deal with. This could be the end, guys, because the Thordor's going to be faster. <sighs> Dear me. Right. Another loss. Just wanted the Battle Incubator in this video, and it's already 22 minutes long, which means there's a high chance that Elgato's pooped out. Oh, we got it! <laughs> <laughs> Elgar is pooped out already, which isn't great. But hey, let's go ahead and open this. That's what we like to see. Attack, defense, and or health and speed. Miragia, Aramujana, and then it'll be either Alanqua or Stiggy. And it's Stiggy. I'd have preferred Alanqua, but I, I finally got why I'm getting those in the battle incubators. I need to get to, um, uh, I think the next one might be a, another epic. I don't know. But I would like to get Dilophosaurus and Alicosaurus in my incubators. That's a definite want to. That's why I want to get up. But I thought Thordor might be the instant gateway to that. Clearly not. Gonna have to practice a bit with him. Um, get a bit more experience under my belt. We are gonna end the video here, guys. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please... Ooh, I'll catch those off camera. <laughs> If you haven't enjoyed today's video, please make sure you do smash hoosh on the like button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my crazy Verniconians. I'd super duper appreciate it. And of course, if you are subscribed, you can join the super secret special forces, also known as the notification squad, by clicking on the little bell next to the subscribed button. But you have to be subscribed to be able to click that bell. Spank you all so much for watching. Have a nice day and draw.